Hi, my name is Dex and today we'll be looking into how we actually can copy access rights from one user to another. So setting user rights are usually very tedious in AutoCom because of the flexibility of the system to provide users with a number of controls. So in AutoCom, there are actually two options of doing this. So step one, what happens is we come to general maintenance here, we come to user maintenance. Alright, so let's say for example, we already have created multiple users and we already have set up their access rights. So you can see here, access rights, then we can say, okay, example, auto account accounting, then we can come into, say, example, invoicing, and here we can say sales, and then here we can say, uh, we block them under invoices, and we already have set the access right here. So of course, if we want to tick one by one, it's going to be very tedious. So what happens if we have now a sales tree? So we just press new, sales tree, and then we key in the password. Then instead of ticking one by one again, what we do is we actually can click here copy from and we can say example here we want to copy from each user. Say sales one and then we can say what do we want to copy from. So let's say we want to copy direct access rights. We just click here and then we press OK. Alright, done. So when you come here auto count accounting, we come to invoicing. We come to sales, we come to invoice. You see it's all ticked already. All we then we just need to do is we just press save. So this is option number one. So option number two is actually what we call groups. Alright, so here we have again general maintenance. We come to user groups here. So user groups here, we can create multiple groups in the system here. And each group will have its own access rights. Okay, so of course we can press auto count accounting. And then we come to invoicing. Then come to sales, and then say we come to invoices, then can really have to all ticked already. So let's say for example, we want to assign a user to this group. All we just need to do is come to general maintenance here, come to user maintenance, and then let's say we create another one new. We type here, sales4, and then key in the password, 234, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, so here you can see the user group here. So what we just need to do is we just press the plus sign here and we can select which group it belongs to. Say sales group, we just press OK. And once we press save, the access rights will follow this. Okay, also another thing that you can note is actually we can have multiple groups. So a salesperson can also manage purchases, for example. Then can press OK. So then they have two access groups that they can be in. Alright, so once we're done, you just press save. So actually this is how easy it is to set up access right for different users with the same access. Do let us know if you have any other guides you would like us to create. Thanks.